Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Rudy Linnell, and uh, welcome back to another batch tutorial. Now, uh, in this uh, in this little video right now, we're going to be working a little bit more about creating functions. That's what we've been doing just recently throughout all these past videos, just uh, in this little mini series. But this one's pretty easy. Um, uh, I'm trying to give you guys something pretty nice and chill before we jump into this next uh, this coming function. Um, t the next one should be a little bit more different, or difficult. Uh, it, it's just a little bit more complex, but it, you may not even think so. Who knows? Let's we'll only find out pretty soon. Soon. But uh, today I wanted to be showing you guys the sum function. Now, if you've seen Python or any other script language, uh, the sum function, all it really does is get the sum of everything inside of an array or list. And now, of course, you'd have to have a numbered list here. It has to be full of numbers to be able to do this. But uh, let's let's try and create it, though. Let's give it a go. If I open up Notepad, I'll create a new script. I think I'll call mine sum.bat. We'll do add echo off as usual, and the syntax I'm thinking of for this one is just call sum, and the array name that we're working with, and then of course the return that we're going to be calling for. So when we return the variable, that's the variable that's going to be filled with the value that we get. So first of all, we're going to need to set sum to equal zero, because we need to be able to work with something, we need a variable that will keep track of everything inside of our array, and uh, at that point we can just go ahead and start looping. Uh, for dash L, because we're going to be counting through the array, dash dash G in 0, 1, because we're going to start from 0, count up by 1, and normally we would go until the length of our array, but remember we are going to need a limit when we're trying to do that, so we'll do set dash A limit to equal that, the length anyway, the value of the length of course, minus 1. So we can go and pass that in for our for loop, count up to the limit, and then from there we will do, we can go ahead and set the sum to equal to the sum currently ar or already was plus the current value in that array. Okay. And then when we're done, we can go ahead and set the return value to equal sum. And then I guess just for good practice, we could remove the variable, but we don't really need to. We are using delayed variable expansion here, so it'll it'll probably just be removed from our memory anyway, since we're using set local inside of another script and that sort of thing. But hey, uh, I guess it's good practice. Why not? And then we'll create a new script to be actually testing this out with. If I create a script dot bat, and I did my typical, you know, delayed expansion. Okay. Uh, how many letters are... What? What am I saying? <laughs> and local, go to, end of file. Okay, now let's create an array. I'll call my numbers. I'll have a space for delimiter, and I'll just say 100, 1, and 10. Now if I call sum for numbers, and I'll want total. Now if I actually ran CMD and ran the script, nothing would happen. Oh, and we even get an error. Missing operator. I don't think we actually want to be using dash A right up here because we're not actually using any arithmetic. Oh, so they dash some. Oh, wow. Why did I use an exclamation point there? That should be a plus sign. Wow, sorry about that, guys. That's pretty embarrassing. All right. But then when we run our script, nothing happens because we haven't actually or echoed out or sent to the output our, our total here. And it is 111 because we've got 100 plus 10, which is 110 plus 1, we get 101. Sorry, 111 because it's just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Etc. 1, 1. I think I had too many ones there. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah, I had way too many ones. Oh, well. <laughs> but then, of course, this can work for anything. And, of course, we can pass as many things in here as we actually want. Let's have some pretty ginormous numbers and that sort of thing. See how well it goes for us. And we get an even bigger number, <laughs> so we should be all set. We are in a great spot here. It's a pretty easy and simple function, but I just want to let you guys know that we do have access to it. We can build it, and it exists now. So if we ever need something like this, it's done. We've got it all made and ready for us. I'll copy it on over to our system path. You should do the same on the off chance we'll need it again. Um, I think it's sum, yep. Put it in the tools, along with, you know path and stuff. <laughs> okay, looks like we're all done here, guys. Thanks again. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. It's going to be a big one, so uh, prepare yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that big of a deal. Goodbye!